Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna have a look at the Sabre Tactical Bottle Degasser Kit. Take a look at what's inside. We'll do a quick review on that. And then I'm gonna use it to install this FX valve on this new 700cc tank. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at the degasser. All right, so what it comes with, is a bottle clamp, which is very nice. And it even has some like red grippy material in there, rubbery material to grab your tank and not damage it. Nice that they used red to kind of match the anodized finish of the tool. Uh, very good machine quality. I don't see any really machining marks or anything. It's a little cold because it's been sitting in my vehicle. So it's a little condensation on it, but very, very good looking tool. All right. So that's the bottle clamp part. You just put it over your bottle and then screw in this uh, Allen right here and it clamps it down. Not sure if that'll work for this. Oh yeah, it's gonna be big enough for the, this. This 700 cc bottle is a little bit skinnier than the FX bottles. Okay, so that's part one. The, probably the more important part is the actual wrench and degassing tool. So how this works, that threaded hole is just to store this in there. So to actually degas it, this slides over your valve assembly. There's a pin right here that goes into the little hole. Okay, so that grabs it. And then if this was on a bottle, I could then screw this in to press down the valve and drain the air out. In this case, we'll simply be using it as an installation tool. So before we get into that, just a general review of what I see before me. Super excellent quality, very excellent machining and just what you'd expect from Sabre Tactical and Donnie over there. So I'm um, happy with that. And let's go ahead and install this valve. You can get the valve for about 60 bucks from FX. So what you're gonna need is simply the valve tool, always need some silicone grease, um, your valve and your tank. So let's go ahead and get started on the installing the valve on the tank. First thing you want to do is make sure everything looks super clean in there. Clean threads, everything's good, there's no debris hanging out inside the bottle. That's number one. So everything looks super good on mine, obviously it's brand new. I get a little anal about things, so I'm just going to put a napkin in there and just make sure my sealing surface for that o-ring is completely clean. So see I got a little bit of some sort of residue out of there. So I want to make sure that's clean. That could just be the aluminum itself. And it look, I'm looking in there, it looks like the threads are good. So that's all the prep we really need to do. One thing you'll need is like some diver's grease or scuba grease. It's just silicone grease. Silicone grease is used with high pressure things because it doesn't combust under pressure like conventional oils would. Okay, so first things first here, I'm gonna take this o-ring off of here so again with the valve i just because it came from manufacturing and i'm not sure who touched it last i just want to make sure we clean that up a bit make a nice sealing surface for that o-ring if we have any grit in there or anything like that that can cause a slow and maybe undetectable leak where you can't hear it but your tank goes low okay so this is the o-ring that fx had given me, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of silicone grease, put it back over the threads carefully, not damaging the O-ring on the threads because it's got a seal. And in fact, I'm gonna put just a little bit of grease right where it's sealing up too because I want that to be a good sealing surface for that O-ring, okay? Next, I'll put just a little bit of grease just on the edge of there. I'm kind of scraping it off my finger so that I know there's grease there. All right, let's do a little more. We don't want too much, but we want enough to make that O-ring slide in there nicely and seal nicely. So that appears to be good enough. Now I'll just hand start this. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we're going to just take the tool and line up the pin with the hole, get it on there and get it pretty nice and tight. 
I do not want this leaking. And that's it. That's an FX valve in my new 700cc tank. Easily installed with the Sabre Tactical bottle degassing kit. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Thank you so much for tuning into this one. I hate to say it. Say the line, Bart! Like and subscribe. Yeah! I just got kicked off of the Amazon Affiliates program for not having a thousand subscribers, so maybe help me get to a thousand. I'd really appreciate that, and uh, then I can start making a few pennies off of Amazon. Anyway, until next time, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.